I'm going on a trip so soon. I have not packed. Like, have not packed. <laughs> um, so I'm just procrastinating by eating Cheez-Its and hoping that the packing does itself. Oh, uh, I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I can't pack unless my house is clean. I don't know what it is, but um, I need to pick up my clothes. You guys um, probably don't know what my wardrobe looks like. Um, it's not done. It is pretty much just two racks and I keep all my clothes on them, but it's like not anywhere near done, which makes it hard to like keep things organized, I feel like, because everything's kind of so packed on these two racks. This is Brady's clothing rack. You can see there's not much on it, um, but most of his clothes fit there because he doesn't have like as many as I do. But I'm looking at this pile of clothes. I need to pick it up. So I'm going to pick up my clothes and then um, we'll start packing. I am going to LA for the first time. I've never been um, literally ever in my entire life and I'm excited, but it's like warmer there. So I want to like be cute, but I don't really know what people wear in the autumn there. So, um, yeah, we'll see. Time to clean up. Gotta get this done. Did not 
not care one bit and asked me to re-steam it once again. No. I finally completed the drink and he left the store shaking his head. <gasps> he came in almost every day for the rest of the summer and watched me like a hawk. Oh, Never tipped. Every day. And complained every single time. Oh. One day I was so grateful that we were out of chai. <laughs> could not make him a chai latte because we were out of supplies he cursed at me and walked out oh 30 minutes gosh. later he walked into the store with two large containers of chai mix mm. and told me to make his order now no he did I not oh my god chai because obviously we do not just use random ingredients and he told me he went to a starbucks in two towns over no oh to god. buy the chai mix so i could make the latte at our location <gasps> literally insane. why did he ask them to make it because he only wants this one barista. But he doesn't like her. But now he, yeah, I don't know. Literally insane that this man was so entitled, rude, and unforgiving. He made it such a long summer, but many of the other sweet customers made it all worth it. There are definitely still many kind souls in the world, thankfully. That same summer, a 40-year-old man would come in every day asking for my 16-year-old barista co-worker and would watch her in the store for hours. Ew. She, quit, she quit later that summer and he was devastated and found someone who knew her at the local Waffle House and told them to give her a 12-page letter detailing how God wanted them to be together <gasps> and she had to bear his offspring to save the planet. Um, <laughs> what? Uh, what the heck is wrong with people? Says, anyways, love y'all so much and hope you're having a great holiday season. Oh my Same. gosh. I hope you heard that. I don't know if you guys heard it or not, but I usually listen to podcasts whenever I pack just because I feel like it makes packing less like, I don't know, stressful and like more fun kind of. Like, I like listening to that podcast that's called What We Said, but I also listen to um, Black Girls Texting. It's literally like, a bunch of girls who are obviously black and they like it, you feel like you're in a girls a girls group chat um i've talked about them before just freaking love listening to them i listen to other ones sometimes like i love higher learning it's one of my favorite podcasts um sometimes i can't listen to it when i'm like doing something i don't want to do because like there's sometimes there's like heavy info in it you know what i mean um what day is it podcast is another good one um but that's also another one that usually i have to listen to it whenever i am like i don't know more focused because it's more like about mental health and like stuff like that um but i'm a big 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 podcast gal um these are skims by the way i think most of you guys have seen my skims video i'll link it below if you haven't um but i think that I'm like really into these high-waisted like briefs. I never really was into them before and then since like having skims um, stuff like I've just been wearing them a lot more. Um, so yeah anyway I'm right now I am packing my um, like pajamas, my workout clothes, my underwear, my like swimsuits because obviously it's going to be warm there and I try to separate my bags. Um, you saw me packing this one. This is the one that has all my clothes in it and I use that as my carry-on. It is a freaking pain, like an absolute pain to have like a check bag with stuff that I'm not gonna wear as much and then all the outfits I'm gonna wear in my carry-on. But the reason I do that is because I like travel a lot as you guys know from like the vlogs and stuff and right now a lot of airlines are super short staffed and I'm finding that a lot of luggage is getting lost like I've had my luggage lost I've had flights be canceled so that like you know if your bag is already checked and your flight gets canceled you can't get your stuff till like usually the next day or like a couple days later and I just like want to have my clothes like that's the biggest thing if I go on a trip um, I need to have my clothing that's um, you know it can really ruin a trip if you don't have like clothes to wear obviously because then you're like trying to find a place to buy the clothes yada 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 so um, I have just started putting all the clothes that I'm actually gonna like wear in here in my carry-on and it is a pain to carry but it makes it so much easier if stuff gets lost um, and then I put everything else into um, this bag pretty much like pajamas and whatever and then i put all my toiletries it is kind of annoying having to like buy more toiletries and stuff um because obviously it fits it doesn't like you can't bring that on a carry-on but i think the biggest thing for me is like if i have clothing i can pretty much go anywhere um obviously i would want my makeup but like you know i pretty much can do most things 
So yeah, I'm done packing this bag. Um, I really need to try on these outfits because I actually try on all my outfits before um, I like go on a trip. I don't really feel like doing it right now. Um, but I just have never had like a really organized and good trip if I haven't tried on the stuff that I'm gonna wear. So I think I'm gonna try it on. It'll be a pain, um, but I will thank myself later in the long run because I've had a lot of trips where um, I'll go on the trip and then I won't end up trying on the clothes and then I'm like mad about it because I put stuff together that like doesn't match. Um, so yeah, I am definitely gonna try everything on. Uh, everything is packed in this bag. I'm gonna put my shoes in this bag. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I also got this from Boyd. I think I've shown this to you guys before, but you put it on your head. Um, you just like push it up. I'm, you'll probably see me wear it on vacation. Um, but you just like push it up on your head and um, it'll keep your hair back while, while you do your um, skincare routine and then while you like take your makeup off or put it on and you can wash it too. So I have two of these and I always bring one on my trip. All right, let's try on this stuff. I really don't want to, but I know that I will thank myself in the long run. Another thing I always make sure to bring on vacation is liquid IV because it helps with hangovers. Um, and then another thing I'm bringing is um, like lots of masks. I'm gonna take out a couple of them, obviously not bring all 20 of them. And then I have some sunglasses in here. And if you guys um, watched on Instagram, you guys would know that these were all from Amazon. Um, I linked all of this in my Amazon, um, or in my Instagram highlight called Packages. Um, I literally do tons of unboxings there of stuff that I get from Amazon. So. I'm gonna, I can't really put this back in this box with one hand, but I'm going to um, put all of this into my bag. I'm also gonna bring this book. Um, so this book right here is called Release Me, obviously, and it kind of reminds me of like 50 Shades. I'm reading this, and I'm reading it at the same time as reading Verity. Tons of you guys have recommended this book, and I love Colleen Hoover's books. It's supposed to be like very different. Um, I did get a trigger warning that this has like child abuse in it, I think, um, but both of these are really good so far. For skincare and perfumes and stuff, um, I have most of it already packed. You can see some stuff is kind of like spilled a little bit, but I pack these really small, um, like travel size containers because it makes it easier whenever I go to like wash my hair and stuff. I don't have to bring my entire container with me. Um, this is conditioner, obviously. This is, wow, that's leaking, okay. Um, that's shampoo. And um, I also don't worry if stuff leaks because it's like usually a smaller container. Um, this is from Bath and Body Works, obviously. I usually bring my lotions that are like not my absolute favorites, you know. Um, this is perfume from Away. And the reason I bring lotions that are not like my favorites is because I've had people make me throw these away. Um, like if they like went through my bag and stuff. Um, this is actually my favorite and I'm actually gonna take this out because I don't want to like take this and have it like leak or anything in here because um, it smells amazing. Um, this is my under eye cream right here from, uh, wow, this is from First Aid Beauty. You can tell this is old and definitely used. And then this is my makeup remover. This is probably what's leaking because there's no top, um, but I have, I buy this in literal bulk. Yeah, you can see this is what's leaking. Um, but I buy this in bulk because this is what takes off my makeup better than anything. It's um, just a facial cleanser and um, it just works really, really well. Then I also have these teeny tiny containers here for perfume as well. And um, literally, this is what the top looks like when you take it off. Um, wow, okay, this is literally falling. But on the bottom, so you can see that this has like an opening hole and that's because you just have to take off the perfume of like a big container, like the top, um, and then you squish this 
on top like up and down and then it fills up with the perfume which is kind of cool um i can't do it because obviously there's something in there but it helps me not have to have like the exact same perfume and the package comes with four and i'm pretty sure this is like seven bucks i think um and what i mean by like take the top off of a big perfume is so you have to take the top off but then you also have to take this part off right here which isn't hard to do but it's hard to do with one hand but once you take this off it has like a little oh i can't take it off with one hand it's like impossible but it has a little um thing that you can stick the um little like perfume thing on top of and then get perfume out so it's actually easier than it sounds um and it's really inexpensive so i'll link it if you guys want to pay now um just to go to the bathroom but then i'm going to come in and try everything on i'll try to do like a little um like skincare thing whenever I'm on vacation just so you guys can know like what I use um I haven't done an updated one in a while and I do definitely use different stuff but I still use a lot of the same stuff too that I've talked about in the past so let me take them outside and then um we'll get back inside and I'll try on these clothes back in from taking Bane out and I just realized that I am not gonna try on stuff right now like I cannot because I have makeup on my face and I told you guys that like trying stuff on is a really good hack and it definitely is but you do not want to do it with makeup on at all because if you have even an ounce of makeup with like neutral stuff and you're taking it on and off like it's going to get on at least one item of clothing and you have to rewash it and it's like a whole thing so um i'm gonna try it on for you guys and probably insert clips maybe later tonight um just because i want to take off my makeup uh maybe i'll put on like a hat or something and like after i shower take my makeup off and i'm like more chill um but I just want to make sure that I'm not getting makeup on the clothes because that would be terrible. I would be so mad at myself because I don't have to like wash everything all over again. I do have some spicy outfits though. So um, I'll show you guys those a little later whenever I take off my makeup. Mm -hmm. 